What does the launch of Sussex.com say about the journey of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to establish a unique identity? This is a question that's been on the minds of many. As the Sussexes take a significant step towards carving out a distinct identity within the public sphere, separate from the royal family. Let's take a step back. In the early months of 2020, following the Sandringham Summit, they ceased their Sussex royal branding. This move was part of a larger agreement, which also imposed limitations on their use of royal branding. But rather than letting these restrictions hold them back, the Sussexes took a nuanced approach to maintain their Sussex title while also navigating the constraints. Enter Sussex.com. This new digital platform represents a new chapter in their ongoing journey. It houses their various endeavors under the Archiewell umbrella, providing a central hub for their current projects and initiatives. But it's more than just a website. It's a statement, a testament to their efforts to redefine their public persona and professional engagements in a way that resonates with their values and the contemporary digital landscape. Megan's updated biography on the website, which encapsulates her time in the UK with a single sentence about her marriage to Prince Harry, further underscores this shift in focus. It's a strategic distancing from their royal past, while also acknowledging Megan's contributions during her time as a working royal. This strategic move signifies an attempt to navigate the limitations and carve out their own distinct identity. How does Megan's updated biography on the new website reflect the couple's efforts to redefine their public persona? One might ask. Well, it's a story of a strategic shift in narrative. The biography encapsulates Megan's time in the UK with a single sentence about her marriage to Prince Harry a notable departure from her previous detailed account of her royal duties. This brief mention, while acknowledging her past, signals a deliberate effort to shift the spotlight to their current projects and initiatives. What's fascinating is how this approach illustrates a conscious distancing from their royal past. It's a dance of sorts, a delicate balance between acknowledging Meghan's contributions during her royal tenure and focusing on the couple's current and future identities. This isn't a denial of the past, but rather a redefinition of it, a reframing of their story that places emphasis on their present and future endeavors. This is not just an update to a biography, it's a narrative control, a tool wielded with precision and thoughtfulness. It's a way for the Sussexes to write their own story, to shape their legacy beyond the confines of the royal family. It's about carving out their distinct identity, about navigating the complexities of public scrutiny while staying true to their values. So what we're seeing here is a couple redefining their public persona, asserting their narrative control, and crafting a legacy that resonates with their values. This narrative control serves as a tool for the Sussexes to craft their legacy beyond the confines of the royal family. What does the speculation around the purpose of Sussex.com tell us about the challenges and opportunities faced by Harry and Meghan in engaging with the public and media? Sussex.com, the newly minted digital platform of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, is a significant part of the couple's evolving public engagement strategy. In an era where digital communication reigns supreme, this platform could potentially serve as a central hub for both personal and official updates, a way for the couple to directly reach their audience, bypassing traditional media channels. Fans and observers have expressed a keen desire for a more robust online presence from the Sussexes. Their wish is indicative of a broader trend where the public expects celebrities and royals alike to maintain a certain level of digital engagement. A static, one-dimensional public image 
no longer suffices. Instead, the audience craves an interactive, dynamic relationship that offers a glimpse into the personal lives of their favorite figures, while also keeping them informed about their professional endeavors. The launch of Sussex.com appears to be an answer to this demand. While it's too early to draw definitive conclusions, the move suggests a more direct communication strategy from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They seem to be aiming for a balance, a platform that allows them to maintain their professional image, while also giving them space to share personal moments and thoughts. This approach is not without its challenges. Striking the right balance between personal revelations and professional updates can be a delicate dance. There's also the risk of overexposure. Sharing too much could potentially dilute the couple's message and brand. Yet, if done right, this strategy could enhance their public image, allowing them to connect with their audience on a more personal level while still maintaining the gravitas associated with their roles. As the Sussex's digital strategy evolves, it offers insights into the changing landscape of celebrity and royal engagement with the public and media. This evolving strategy reflects a broader shift in how public figures navigate their relationship with the public, a shift that is likely to continue as we delve deeper into the digital age. In this video, we dissected the launch of Sussex.com and its implications on the Sussex's brand identity. We explored how this new platform signifies a distinct identity for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, separate from their royal past. We delved into Megan's updated biography, a narrative control tool that shifts focus towards their current initiatives. We also raise questions about the potential role of Sussex.com in engaging with the public and media. The evolution of the Sussex's brand offers an intriguing glimpse into the journey of public figures in redefining their persona and engaging with the public in the digital age.